constructing quizzes and <laughs> at least I found constructing quizzes in my courses, you had to be very careful not to make mistakes. And so you would write the initial quiz and then it would take a few iterations to, to figure, oh, we should have clicked that button. We should have done this. We, and there were a bunch of things that we had to fix to yeah. make sure the quiz worked properly. So, so it's a little, I, I found that the quiz thing in my courses, and it's good, but it's arcane. So, and you have to be careful. Otherwise you mess up the students when we, 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 we almost ran into some, we were at the last minute, we picked up on a bunch of things, a, a, number, a, few, to, a few times, which was a little scary for, for us. I, so I'll, I'll second that, John, because I remember I, I also used quizzes, in fact, last term as well. And, and I recall that there was a difference between uh, their language was unusual. They had an open date and a closed date and then a release date. And I, to me, an open and a closed date means it's available during that time. But no, closed means it becomes invisible after the closed date, but you want a release date. And so I was always worried that I was releasing the answers prior to the end of the quiz. And arcane is a perfect word for that, John. Yeah. It, it seemed like you needed to go into multiple menus and make sure multiple things all work together um, in a way that was never completely obvious to me. I have yeah, to. Yeah. yeah, it always took us a few days to, to yeah. make sure, oh yeah, now we're ready to give it to the students. 